Hey guys, welcome back. What I wanted to do in this video is talk about another coding interview assignment. And this assignment is about returning the first half of the string. So, here's the assignment. Given a string of even length, return the first half of that string. So, basically what we need to do in this assignment is write code that is going to only return the first half of a string that's passed in. I have a couple examples here. So we have the method first half, and basically we want to pass in a parameter of a string, for example, woohoo, and we only want the woo portion of that string to be returned. I have a couple of other, other examples here. The hello is only going to return the first half of the string, which would be hello. And if we were to pass A, B, C, D, E, F in, we would only get A, B, C back. So basically, it's a pretty simple assignment. What we need to do is just simply write code to return the first half of a string. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the code. Alright guys, so this is going to be the coding portion of the video. And what I want to do is pretty much just walk you through how you would go about finding the first half of a string that's passed into a method. So um, the goal of this video is we're going to be given a string and we're going to keep note that the string is going to be of even length and we just want to return the first half of that string. So, you know, we have our examples here, just like I stated in the presentation, we have a method called first half and we have a value passed in, woohoo. Now if we divide that in half, we're going to get just the first part of that word, which is going to be woo. And another example here, um, hello there, the first half of the string is just going to return hello. And then this last example, A, B, C, D, E, F, we're just going to simply have A, B, C return. So let's jump right into it. But before we start, let me zoom this in for you guys. All right. So the first thing we need to do is create ourselves a method. So we're just going to go public static string first half and we know for this method we're going to be taking in a parameter so we're just going to go string my string and inside of this method um, what we need to do first is create ourselves a variable and this variable is actually going to hold um, the first half of the string so I just want to go int first half end equals my string dot length divided by two. So basically this variable is going to hold the first um, half in position of the string. So it's basically just going to show exactly was basically going to just store where we're going to cut off the first half of the string. So after that, I just want to go, I want to create another variable, string final result. And we want to set this equal to my string dot substring. zero and then we just want to go first half in. Now I'll, I'll explain this. So basically what's happening here is that I'm taking a variable that's called final result and what I'm doing is I'm finding the substring of this variable that's passed in. For those of you who don't know what substring is, substring is basically used to find or yeah or to basically you know grab the contents of a string from a specific range so what's happening here is that we're starting off at zero and we're gonna end at the first half end so for the string that's passed in we're starting off at zero and since we know that the strings length is even we're dividing that by two and basically we're storing this value we're passing this value into the substring parameter, which is basically just going to give us half of the string. So the final result will be the first half of the string. And the only thing that we need to do next is just simply return. 
return final result. And that's pretty much it. This is a pretty straightforward coding assignment, but in order to prove this to you guys, I just want to go up here and I want to call this method now. And I'm going to actually print this out though. First half. And then we want to pass in our examples. So the first one, W O O H O O. Woohoo. Alright, so in our examples, we should get this back. So let's go ahead and run it. Run this and we'll see what we get. We get woo, which is basically the first half of this string. This string is actually six characters one, two, three, four, five, six. What we're doing, we're just simply dividing it by two and we're just grabbing that first half right there. Now let's just test out the rest of our examples that we have here. Hello there. This should just return hello. Run it. We're going to get hello. Exactly what we're expecting. And then the last thing is this A, B, C, D, E, F. Run this. We get A, B, C. Exactly what we're looking for. And that's pretty much how you would go about finding the first half of an even string that's passed into a method. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If you ever get this on a face-to-face -face interview, you know exactly how to write code for this now. So, and um, that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video if you've learned something here. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.